Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Kid in a Sweet Shop. So, it hasn't happened, but it's everybody's dream. So let's pretend for today, I have just won the lottery. So what is the first thing I'm gonna do? Is I'm gonna buy a car. So I've come down to Romans International. I'm gonna take a look around because, hello, look at this outrageous one. So Romans has partnered up with Elevate. I actually know this company really well because it's who I get my Audi RS6 finance from. And I'm gonna take you through that whole process. I'm joined by Mike from Elevate. Okay. Hi, Jordi, once again. I know, lovely to see you. <laughs> nice to see you. Um, this is my favourite place. They have the best place to work, by the, the best, way. The best sweetie shop. Uh, I mean, yeah. honestly, these glass little, that's them. So they get to look at this every day. Anyway, okay, so I've won the lottery. Yeah. I've got a blank checkbook. I'm coming down, of course, to one of the best showrooms mm. to pick a beautiful car. So let's say we look at three or four cars. Okay. Um, but I'm going to be I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to finance. So I'd love you to kind of talk me through what that looks like with okay. each car. Yeah. So give me an indication what sort of budget that uh, that you had. So how much money did you win? So let's say. Let's say quarter of a million. 250. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's and that's then a round and, yeah, I know that's a good win. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a very good win. Yeah. But nice I do I do want to know. I know it's not two two and a half mil. So that is this? this car is currently in the market for 2.5. Two and a half um, mil, not yeah, bad. Yeah, you'd need to be quick uh, if you're wanting to buy because we've actually got a customer flying in from Germany um, this morning. Today. Yeah, to actually see this car. He's due literally okay. within the hour. Okay. Um, so 250k would yeah, be what, the. What's that look like in finance? That would sort of be a 10 percent deposit um, on this car. Okay. Realistically, monthly payments would work out at somewhere in the region of 31,000. Um, 31 a month. grand a month. 31 grand a month. Yeah, on the basis that you're putting 10 percent in. This car would probably be a good um, car to invest in, uh, just on the basis of the colour. Um, yeah, exactly. This kind of like this beautiful Tiffany kind yeah, of it, light uh, blue. Yeah, it is. The 450 Bugattis were originally built, of which 92 were Grand Sport Vitesses, which is what, what this model is. Mm -hmm. uh, again, when you're looking at the, uh, the colour, this is very much bespoke. It's one car of one. Mm -hmm. You can probably see from the little footprints there that the original owner um, who purchased the car in Singapore had the imprints of his um, little, baby child um, sort of imprinted. So it's a, it's a little very bit personalised. Per very yeah. personal. So, but I think if it was me with 250, is that, are you want to spend the full 250 or looking at something maybe a little bit more practical? We'll look at something a little bit more my price range, but I just thought it was interesting. But is that the kind of what normally you would take? Is you would take a car, you put 10% down of the... 10%, yeah. And then you work it out from there. Yeah, and then you sort of spread the monthly rentals. What most people tend to do, as you did on the RS6, is you yep. tend to sort of defer a balloon payment to the end. Yes, and exactly. And then what that tends to do is it makes the monthly payments a little bit more sort Doable. of um, affordable. And yeah. then right before you get to the balloon, you you renegotiate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't we? We go again. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, that, that let's go and have a look at something more plan. realistic. <laughs> <laughs> GTR. Yeah, I knew this car would take your eye um, when I you arrived here it. this morning. Uh, yeah, it's on the market for 116,950. The good news for you is it's available. Really? It's not, it's, it's not uh, sold yet, so um, Romans currently have uh, the car available for sale. The options on the car, performance seats, uh, a a, a cost option, have a uh, Oh yeah, nice. Have a look. Again, you can probably tell by um, the exterior colour. It's a special paint, so it's Magno Iridium um, is, is, is the cool colour, which, again, from, from my point of view, I think that's what sets it um, sort of apart from uh, other cars that um, yeah. are sort of uh, similar um, in value. And the I, carbon as well on the, the rear, the, the, ex, the exposed carbon, yeah. again, is a, is, is a cost option. As far as resale value, Jodie, I don't think you'll lose a lot of money on this car. Um, if you but did. I still think it's cheap for a car of this magnitude, of this, you know, the V8, the twin turbo, the speed of it. The, the, I think it's yeah. one of the best yeah, 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 cars yeah. Of yeah. That, that Merck's ever really designed. I, I really love this car. I think a term that the sales guys tend to use is um, you're getting a lot of flash for a little cash. Yeah, it's it, true. It is a lot of car for what is 116,950. Okay, um, so, and that would be, so you're looking at putting down 
10 to 15 grand. A, a, yeah, so 10% in, so just over 11 and a half K. 11 and a half, okay. Payments roughly 1,600 a month. Okay. You, 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 you're probably looking at. Um, right. Agree, it's obviously a fixed rate. Um, I'm saying it's obviously. Uh, yeah. Fixed rate agreement tends to be the most popular when, when interest rates are, um, are going up. Yeah, and so can we can we just touch on that at the moment? Because obviously everyone knows that it's a really, really tough time. Yeah. And, you know, interest rates are sky high, but they will come down yeah. or stabilise and then come down. So let's say I, I do get this um, and uh, I'm in for a couple of years. Can I, in six months when things have calmed down, can I phone you back up and say, look, interest rates have dropped down, can we renegotiate? What, what does that look like? Yeah, 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 we can we look can. at refinancing as a, a product that, um, that we do tend to, uh, tend to do and on the basis that interest rates do come down. The regulated agreements, it's only a two month interest penalty that you get charged okay. for coming out of that agreement um, early. So like I say, if interest rates start to drop, my personal opinion is, I think they've probably got a little bit more to go. I think it'll it's be- It's gonna go up before I, it comes I, down, I think, yeah. I think they've probably obviously gone from 0.5 up to 5%, which is a, it's a massive increase and it's obviously impacting on people. Yeah. But I think it'll go to, my view, what the markets are saying is it'll probably go to six by the end of the year, and then it'll probably plateau yeah. um, during the course of next year. And then hopefully it'll start to- To, to, to come down. To, to sort of come so down again. So that's great yeah. that you, you take two, two, two months- Two months interest, 50 years, yeah. And then, and then you can go straight in to renegotiate at hopefully lower interest yeah, rates yeah. if it does happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like I mentioned, okay. residual wise, um, I, I, I can't see this car Losing um, a massive amount of uh, massive amount of money, so I don't think it would be a I don't think it would be a bad. If we stand uh, by it too point. long, I'm going to be signing that <laughs> blinking piece of paper. I do like it too much. <laughs> now we're talking, Mike. <laughs> Is this the one you bought out? This was this this was the last one that uh, that you mentioned that you wanted to have a have a little look at. Four five eight speciali. Four five eight speciali. I yeah. mean, this is. It's very special. It's a very, very special yeah. speciali. So, I mean, it's got to be out of my budget, right? 250,000, if you said that that, that was where, you, where your budget was. Yeah. When we were talking about sort of cars that you're not gonna lose any money on, and yeah. potentially make money on, as far as um, an investment. Yeah. Specialis, uh, it's probably one of the, the soundest investments you, you could make as far as a, a car. Mm -hmm. um, this current car is 359950. Uh, it's the right colour combination uh, for, uh, for me. It's the Russell Corsa yes. red. It's got the, the Nart stripe uh, as the well. The Go Faster stripes. The, the, the Go Faster stripe, which <laughs> um, go, go, goes with the, uh, the Speciali. It's got a lot of carbon um, on the car uh, as well, which you can see carbon um, engine bay. As far as financing these cars, this is probably the most popular vehicle that we do refinancing of balloons on, Geordie, at Elevate. So it's a different, so it would be a slightly different finance system to what we would of the cars that we've seen outside. Yeah, so the, the, the cars that we were talking about outside was, we were, we were talking about a profile of 10% in and then 10%. sort of uh, month, monthly payments. Yep. The most popular uh, sort of funding aspect on the speciality over, over the years tends to be people want to pay interest only. Oh, so you can do to, that to, as well. Yeah, so to, okay. to get to an interest-only scenario on a speciality, you're probably looking at a 30% deposit going in. So you're talking just over just over 100,000. Yeah. Um, and then you've got a 70% balloon residual at the end at of the, the end. At, uh, at the end of the term. So, the, so you kind of chop and change a lot with cars that are more than a quarter of a million pounds. As far, is that the as, idea? as sort of chopping and changing, um, what tends to happen on the specialities is people tend to, to, to keep them ne right. uh, nearer the term because they, they tend to appreciate. I mean, ah, the, I these see. cars, it doesn't seem that long ago that these were sort of in the, in the late 200s. And now you're talking 300. Um, we've actually got a car that's just come in sort of 400. Right. Um, so, so they really have sort of taken off as far as the values. Again, if you think about something like a, I'd probably compare it to 
something like a Carrera GT, but yes. again, you'd probably be talking Carrera GT at one at one point. I think we we funded a one for 300,000, which doesn't seem like a million years ago. And I think there's one on the market at the moment for 1.375. You are joking Just me. Just gone, gone, gone sort of crazy. So there's obviously no guarantees, but I think especially you're getting a lot of, so, you're getting a lot of car for the So moment. it's at the end of, let's say you're coming to the end of your agreement. The car has appreciated a hundred grand. You then sit down, you then recalculate everything again. The payments could come a lot smaller and and then you can go for a new agreement. Yeah, because ultimately if you're going to fund this over say, th say three years and three years time, or you, you mentioned about the, the refinance of interest rates start to, start to come down, um, we could look at um, re refinance, refinancing. It's really interesting. So if you're good and you've got an eye and you pick the right car at the right time, those prices just, I mean, your expenditures monthly could just come down yeah. and down and down and down throughout the whole process. Yeah. I mean, usually, obviously, when you're buying a motor car, you would expect a level of sort of depreciation. Um, yeah, they, exactly. They, 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 do, they do tend to, tend to go down. Um, That's right, RS6. But... <laughs> <laughs> okay, so oh, I think I'm doing this all wrong. I've got to start thinking about this and being more kind of... Uh, calculated with the cars and get them more appreciating. Yeah. Um, I mean, I do have a serious soft spot for this car. I've never, I've been in one. I've never driven one though. Do you want me to see if I can sort it for you? You do. <laughs> Chris. Yes. Hi, Jody. How are you? Hi. Doing? How are you? <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. So you're you're work for Romans International. I do. Okay. I certainly do. Brilliant. Um, so you want to go out in the special? <laughs> yes, could I? I'd, I'd, for her? I'd absolutely love to take you out. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a nervous passenger, are you? but Don't I know worry. you're an amazing driver. So <laughs> please, yes. let's go for a spin. Oh my God. Oh my God. Here we go. Here we go. Oh my God. Oh, oh wow. Hello, baby. So the last one you sold? Yeah, last Elevate. one I sold was, was yeah. funded. Mike did it through Elevate. And yeah. I think what the customer loved was that he kind of saw the car 48 hours previously. It was a one owner car, so it was yeah. quite a rare, rare beast. Yeah. I spoke to Mike, Mike got everything sorted. And 48 hours later, the car was paid out. The guy was collecting it. That was it, that's yeah, yeah so they don't mess funded, around. And, yeah. um, and so, yeah, that, I think that's one of the things that people love about Elevate is that, you know, there isn't that kind of phone up, press one, press two, press three. You get straight through to Michael, Sarah, very straightforward, no messing around. Because people who are buying these kind of cars are, are quite time poor. Yes. So they just want something that's easy and, and it kind of does what it says on the tin. So Absolutely. That's, what, that's what they provide and that's what everybody loves about and, it. And, so. and exactly, you don't want to spend, normally I would have automatically thought that it would have spent, you know, a good week. Yep. Going kind that's of kind of the norm. Do, yeah. So um, that's brilliant, 48 hours. But it can hours. be done super quick, um, minimal paperwork, and then come and grab a car. I mean, it, so. is, it is really, I've got one of, one of my great friends had one of the, uh, when they first came out, yeah. managed to get yeah. on the list. And um, yeah, he just, I mean, he didn't have a bad word to say about this car. But also what you're saying is that they're, a, they're in a good place, they're climbing. So yep, do you think absolutely. they will, keep climbing I, I mean, think I think they will it's a really a really hard question to answer because yeah, you, you know, know yeah, I want to keep my credibility and it's very easy for a salesperson to go oh it's an investment it's <laughs> yeah, going to go exactly. up oh, there's a tiny Ooh. little thing here um, but, but actually with the speciali I feel confident in saying to people yes they've gone up quite a bit in the last 18 months probably 70 to 100 grand depending on spec and mileage yeah but i still believe they've got room to go oh, up i think i I'm think they'll level out a little bit and then i think they have got room to grow you know i think low mileage the right spec cars will you know i do know of cars that have moved for, for half a million right and i think that you know good cars at the moment are around the 400 and I think long term they will, they will, you will see them on the market for half a million. Could be a really stupid question, but I don't know because I've never gone straight to it. So everyone knows that it's very difficult to get on the Ferrari yes. list yep. to get a car that's first uh, from the factory. So uh, are, could you go and 
get a car straight from the factory, be on that list, and, and it be under finance? Is that normal or is it You could do. You can? Yeah, okay. absolutely. We, we fund cars that are coming straight out of Lamborghini, Porsche, yeah. Ferrari, um, and, and they fund them with Elevate because yeah. we do have, you know, probably the most competitive rate in the country, you know. So the big dealers that, that expect to, yep. you know, people to drop hundreds and hundreds and hundreds yeah, of thousands yeah, yeah. on their cars, that's total normal. Totally normal. Totally normal. And it's totally normal for us to fund cars yeah. where people are going to pick it up from the main dealer, brand new, and they've dealt with us because, you know, the relationship that we have with the lenders, with, you know, some yeah. of the cars we're selling are, you know, two million, three million, four million. And yeah. when you're doing that amount of business through the lenders, yeah. you do get extremely competitive rates. Absolutely. You know, sometimes our balloons will be different, so we'll we'll be able to negotiate different deals. So right. that's fairly normal that yeah. someone buys a Lamborghini, Porsche, funds it through us. We have everything paid out so the customer can go and collect their new yeah. car. I guess. This has been you know, an it's been honestly like an eye opener for me as well because I have finance but I got a car that I love yes, but I didn't yeah. think about it apart from I love that car but actually that it you know it did depreciate yeah Massively. a lot yeah yeah it's, 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 a, it's I a, mean, a, not a very nice feeling is it no it's not but I just thought oh no I love this car and that's it but now I think the next one I'm going to go I'm going to be much more yeah, savvy yeah, about yeah. it well a lot of people come in and they'll sit down in front of me and they'll be totally honest and, and listen we, we work on long term relationships here you know yeah. I've been doing this a long long time and most of my business now thankfully is repeat business and yeah. they will sit down and say you know I, I want a supercar, I've always dreamt of having one, I don't want to absolutely blow my brains, I don't want to lose 100 grand in a year, yeah. what can I buy? And then you just guide them into, yeah. some cars you will lose 100 grand in a year and we'll, we'll be honest and say, yeah, if you bought this brand new, and there's other cars that, you know, it's very easy to tell people their cars are going to go up, but mm. that does happen, but you have to be a bit careful. But yeah, exactly. certainly we can guide no people pressure. and say, no yeah, because <laughs> if I say that and it doesn't go up, they'll be in, yeah, exactly. give me a hiding. but. You know, there is cars that you can say, look, that will be a safe car. Mm. Especially is a safe car to buy. Something like a well, GT3 that, RS. It's, it's, there's cars that aren't going to lose. Yeah. Bundles and bundles. You know, all cars lose a little bit. Of course they do. You put miles on, you add an owner. But, mm. you know, certain cars are safer than others. So mm. you can have that conversation and, and be honest with someone. And, and Absolutely. just that guidance helps them. it's a them. relationship. And it's a lovely so relationship. For it. And that's why, you know, you have partnered up with Elevate because I suppose that yeah. that's... You know, it's, it's a no-brainer. And that's well, what Mike will do with people. He'll be honest and, and yeah. you know, he won't put like the most humongous balloon ever on a car because, do you know what, is that the wrong thing to do? Possibly. So when you come back and you say, yeah. I really fancy a change and we go, well, actually, you your balloon was so high yeah. to make your monthly payment low that yeah. your car's now in 20 grand of negative equity. Mike will talk to you about that and say, yeah. you, you have still got to come out of this car at some point. So yeah. let's look at a, exactly. a way that's going to help it. you when you want to change very easy just to give someone a low monthly yeah and forget about what's going to happen in two At years and, and you it, probably yeah. wouldn't you probably wouldn't look after that person again because they would no, go exactly they'll go oh. actually gave me bad advice yeah so it's kind of not, not worth what it. we do here so well i tell um, you what this is definitely going to be on my future list I am still buzzing after my little drive in that. Um, but anyway, a massive, massive thank you to Romans International and to Elevate. I have learned so much today and I hope you have too and you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time on Kid in the Sweet Shop. <laughs>